Hi guys, I'm Muddy Gamer. Hope you're well. And today we're going to be doing not anything on Steam. Didn't realise that was there. It was lucky, wasn't it? Um, we're going to be doing some eye racing again. Uh, we're going to be going to the uh, beautiful track that is Brands Hatch, and we are going to be racing in the Advanced Mazda Cup. So I haven't been round Brands Hatch on eye racing at all. So new. What is going on here? Getting all sorts of stuff clicking up. Um, yeah, oh, it's a it's a new track for me on iRacing. I have played Brands Hatch obviously on other um, games, but not in iRacing. That can now close apparently. Sorry about the uh, lack of streamage. I've had issues with actually getting onto iRacing. There was a problem with the beta UI, so. Um, I've just reset my whole computer, re-downloaded it, and that seems to have fixed the problem at present. So, that's good, at least. Um, which, yeah, as I said, we're going to do a bit of practice around um, Brands Hatch on iRacing, and yeah, see how we go. I've, I've raced it on many different types of racing gaming sim. Uh, turn one is usually quite difficult, so I'm interested to see how the dynamics of turn one work out in this simulator against something like uh, a set of Corsa or even Forza, to be fair, because it's quite a difficult corner to get right the best of the time. So, if it actually transpires that those two games that I just mentioned have got it right, uh, I'll be very impressed because I've never been, I've never been, so it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, how this sort of matches up to how they're portrayed in other racing games. Hope you can all hear me well. It seems like the headset mic's working. That's all good. Can you hear? Yeah. I think you can hear everything. Right, so let's get some practice on then. I've just noticed the line is on, so I'm just going to come out and take the line off. So I don't need, don't need the line on a track that I sort of know. So take the driving line off. Um, all right. There we go. Check the mirror as I pull out. So this was that off-camber corner. Look at that. Way out there. This is usually, in most games, most cars, second gear corner. Stamping the brake. Oh, no, it wasn't. Let me have that. The tire's probably quite, quite low on temperature at the moment. So I raced this in Forza for the Le Mans Esports event and it took, it took a while to get used to the track if I'm honest. There's a lot of off-camber turns. Graphically it's beautiful. A little dab at the brake, get the nose to turn in. As you can see, there's been no time set by me here. Oh, nailed that! Absolutely nailed it. On the break into third. Try and get. It's just not gripping. It's just not gripping. Which is understandable, seeing as. I mean, you just escape out a sec. There's a few things that aren't running that I thought were running. So, I'm just gonna. Kayaks running. And also, there is a. What's the other? Trading paints I need to get running. Let's launch that as well. Oh, 
Right, so that should have started. Sorry about this. Just want to get as much information on screen for you guys as possible, really. Right, let's get out and do some practice. There we go. Swim those tyres up. Oh. I like the fact they've even got the, the switches of tarmac that have been replaced down into third. Don't want to be going too fast on an outlap. Just want to get get an idea of how this car feels around brands. It's starting to uh, starting to brighten up. So this is a bit of a late apex. This one it's quite difficult to work out. But if you get it just right, you'll gain time all the way down here. gonna try and get the car used to the temperatures. Oh. Do like that bend. This one. Here we go. And on to our first flying lap. Breaking at the 50. Off camber. Getting the throttle down to try and turn the front in. Going to start finish straight as we come up to turn one. Going to break nice and early because I have no idea how this car is going to behave. Breaking after the 50, down into second to get it to turn in. Nice, nice, nice. I was thinking of the downshift then, but I didn't need to. I'm waiting to try and get in now, turning in. So I'm getting on the throttle early. No, I had to back out a little bit. Still taking time off it though. Had to back out a little bit so I can still gain a lot of time down this straight. Oh, you can go well out there. Dab on the brakes, aim for the apex. Picking up time everywhere. Picking up time absolutely everywhere. Lost a bit there because I should have downshifted. I was being lazy. Picking it back up now though. So people are doing 40s and I'm out in the 48s. Guessing you got a bit further out there than I was expecting. Tires are starting to grip up a bit now, it feels like. Oh, there's a 44 at last. And I know that I've got so much time down this stretch. So currently I'm not doing too bad. Second second real lap and I'm in 44s. This guy is uh, pulling over for me. Thank you very much. 
dab of the brake. Didn't think I went off track then. It's got some odd track limits, this place. Brake, downshift to third, hit the apex, throttle down. Yeah, look at all that time I'd lost. Starting to get the grips of this car, starting to. I couldn't have exited the pits at the worst time for me, but I managed to make it work. You know what I'm saying? Inside against it, it's too windy. Really? How the hell have you not seen that? Some people actually don't know that there's a brake pedal, I think. Come on. Uh, let's get on a lap, shall we? Still gonna get turn one right. Or turn two. Or turn three, what is going on? I can't get on the power early enough. I'm having a whole nightmare today. And I don't think the stream's working, so...
Hmm. There we go, that's the apex. No. Definitely break later for that. I'm coming at far too an acuter angle. Seem to nail that though. really bloody handy when it goes into neutral. <laughs> right. As it doesn't look like this is actually doing what it should be doing, I'm going to call it and I'll try streaming again later. If it is doing what it should be doing, then I do apologise for the short stream. I'll speak to you all guys soon and stay safe.